Hey, hey, what's up, guys? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Thank you all for coming down as soon as you saw got the announcement. Really appreciate it. Just a quick announcement. Um, we have found our winner, who is uh, Rorik. Yay! So I messaged him and asked him if uh, to give me like details on where to send it. And he's scared of COVID. <laughs> And the boys are just finding this out now because I was having this conversation with him right before the stream. So, uh, I believe he wants to... Um, I, I can uh, sanitize this if you want, like Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to put it on my butt right off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Saints. How are you, my bud? Howdy, buddy. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Uh, sub Samosa. Sorry, we're starting another episode with Ari not in his chair! Oh. What do you mean? I'm right here. Oh, um, we are on the Yeah, yeah I know. I'm so I just swapped over the. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. There's no change. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, oh. Oh, I just realized I was. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were. Because when, yep. when he stopped, when he stopped, like, when he left Skype, got to change back. Uh. Yeah. All the fucks up. How are you how are you guys doing? How's everyone doing? Like I would I would announce that we don't have a theme song, but the person who this announcement is for is not here, so it doesn't it's null, it doesn't matter. We can wow. announce it again when he's back though. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Raf, how has your day been? Better than Jolly who apparently banged it's not, a good place. it's not a good place to st stop a sentence, <laughs> my In two times in a minute uh, My week's been good uh, Cooking a lot uh, Yeah That's that's really it Oh yeah Cooking a lot Cooking up trouble But yeah Nothing much What have you been cooking? I can't even remember That's how much I've been cooking <laughs> um, But I did bake some bread with my mom So that's nice I baked pandesal. What was yeah. it? It's a, a it's a type of bread from the Philippines. It's a very hearty kind of bread, usually eaten for breakfast. Oh. It literally means bread of salt. Thanks. It is quite a savory bread. Hmm. Oh, dude, what's that called? Uh, you know that peanut thing. I always forget forget what it's called. Like the spinny pick flavor for. Uh, <sighs> Uh, Pulveron. Pulveron, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh my god, Pulveron is the best thing <laughs> oh, ever, man. My mom man. made homemade Pulveron like three Oh weeks my god, dude. Pulveron, Pulveron is dope. like the best thing ever. Yeah, man. Holy shit. I'm just oh. observing my, my, my earphones sometimes blend with the... My headphones sometimes blend with the background. Yeah, yeah so you have no ears. It's, it's like just... Yeah, it's like <laughs> shrinking sometimes. It's really cool. Yeah, that's uh, how interesting my day has been. That's all I'm paying attention to right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Speaking, speaking of baking, okay, and and I'm totally gonna sell this because it's a Filipino trend right now, okay. And I kid you not, it tastes freaking delicious. Is it the sushi? Baked sushi. I'm sorry. What? I'm what? not. I'm not kidding you, okay. Um, if if I ever make more, I'll tell you guys, okay. I don't know. Maybe on my birthday or something, right? You'll Baked said it. Chat. <laughs> oh yeah, so Ralph, Jolly is a, Jolly is a she. Jo wait, wait, Jolly B is she? Jolly Sue is a sh is a she because oh, he Jolly said she she banged her toe and yeah oh. she's a she. Okay. But yes, hello how yes, food will be chilled. Okay, so baked sushi it is legit. I thought it was weird at first, but it was so good. So on Friday after uh, I grabbed a couple of beers, uh, I. My, I forgot to get my friend's Witcher game, Witcher 3 game. So he drove back down to my place and I brought a piece of uh, baked sushi down for him to eat. And he said after he had it, he was awake despite the beer in his system, you know? Mm. The one beer. Yeah, the one light beer. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. How Houch is hungry. Yeah, of Couch loves the food at my place. Like my my brother, my older brother has delivered food to him before, oh. like Filipino food. 
Interesting. Yep. I'm waiting for my turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind some delivery as well. Hey, thanks, thanks, Josh. Thank you. So, so generous. Um, rap, rap. You want you want my mom's spaghetti? Nope. That's <laughs> spaghetti. <the hell? laughs> Is there vomit on his sweater? It's a it's a Filipino thing, right? Where, um, when you ask a Filipino person whose spaghetti is the best spaghetti, the correct answer is Mom's my mom. Spaghetti. Not your mom. It's my, mm. mine. My mom. Mine. So when he, when he came over to my face and uh, saw my mom's spaghetti, he refused to eat it just in case it was better. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is this is have you any connection to like the M and M song? Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Sadly, predates the Eminem. Oh really? Song. Oh them. Yeah. Eminem was inspired by this. Maybe. This ongoing mm. warfare between all Filipino mothers and their spaghettis. Yeah. <laughs> and like um. Yeah, Filipino food is just super great. Oh, Jolly, by the way, like because we're in Singapore, there's a lot of Chinese, there's a lot of Malay, there's a lot of Indian food, so, um. Back on the spice whenever ordering Indian. Yeah, like, I try to, like, my, the four people here, they're gonna despise me for it, but I eat prata without my, like, curry. I yeah. despise you for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just wrong. I, I like sambal. With prata? I, With I don't prata. mind eating. Like, have you had saffron? Like, there's this restaurant called Saffron, and then um, they have, they have a uh, sambal there. So sambal is like a different kind of chili, with, okay. and it's sweet sambal is it's mm. really pretty dope. With prata, yeah. There's this prata place near my near my house, my my soon to be house. Like that's uh, that has damn good prata sambal. Spring leaf. Uh. No, no, not spring leaf. <laughs> uh, oh, subtle flex. Some random Brian. one. Yeah, subtle flex. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh undisclosed brand. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but solid prata, bro. Go get fed. Open for brother sponsorships. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Always keen, man. Always yeah. keen for that. Always keen for like food in general, right? You guys yeah, just want a- anything, food, right? Every every time there's something, you guys will be like, oh, it'll be so cool <laughs> if we can get sponsored by by freaking brother. Yeah. <laughs> by any food, yeah, it's fine. Like I would stream for food. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, Same. I feel like the 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 D and D to Prata um. Demographic n- is very niche. <laughs> well, we'll make it a thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But then before b- before we like go on to other game game stuff, right? I want I want to I want to ask, right? What if chat could use points to give advantage or disadvantage? Oh. Oh. Wow. What What do you three as players feel about that? <laughs> That's dangerous. In chat, feel free to give uh, your inputs if you if you guys like that idea. That's that's a dangerous idea. I'm... It sounds like it'll be fun though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was thinking yeah. right. I was exactly thinking that it could be fun. It could be disastrous. Yeah, I mean, it could be fun. Yeah. I'll be. It'll, it'll be. We have to be super clear about the rules. Like, um, you have to declare it before it happens. Yeah. Uh, latency included. I do declare. Oh right? yeah, so latency if, is gonna make it tough. Yeah, so if you if you give the advantage but we miss it because of latency, no choice. Then the person gets the the roll on the next roll that the person makes. Oh, oh, switch. oh yeah. always making me hungry, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have a friend in <laughs> five who literally can eat chili like like like, the like snack. a snack. Yeah. Yep. And and he's like, no, but don't eat it alone. And I'm like, yeah, you put soy sauce inside and then you eat it. Like, that makes it that much better. Hmm. Yeah, he, he would do that, though. It's quite impressive. He, you know, he you, you have, like, little chili patties. And then he just picks up, like, a piece of chili and he just starts munching it. What I mean, he's the hell? only person I know that does that. Especially for your chili patties, which is the really, really spicy kind. Mm-hmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. He has a bit snacked on a ghost pepper. Oh, you, can man. Actually, you can actually order a ghost pepper online, you know, get it delivered. Uh, like? I, love, I love butter chicken. <sighs> Stop it. Oh, 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 oh
Oh man. I think, uh, we can do like a uh, just chatting stream and then just like get Mukbang food and eat. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> food, food of the day, right? Anything like, Jolly asks us to order. Yeah. <laughs> So this week on Fried Dice Paradise presents. Oh, we tried butter chicken. Yeah. <laughs> we had, uh, so usually I have it with garlic naan, uh, but if I'm feeling a bit poor, then I just have it with normal naan without the extra side ingredients. Because the garlic's too expensive. Because yeah. the garlic makes it fifty cents more expensive. <laughs> Role play eating. What's What's the other naan that that that's really nice with butter chicken? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Is it butter or...? <laughs> oh yeah, it's just butter and onion, right? Yeah. That, that was dumb, it's butter chicken. Oh man. F -f 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 food Yeah. Oh man. Yo. Oh, if you're all thinking of food, you know, we're all brain farting because we're thinking of food. Yeah. Is there any announcements we should be making first <laughs> before we forget everything? <laughs> uh, next... Next Sunday, we're not... We're not playing because uh, it's Ooh. National Day here. Yay! Are you guys excited for that? Um, yes! Officially, yes. <laughs> Not really. It's Happy Patty. Patty. Happy birthday. Hi, Patty! <laughs> Hello, Patty. Yeah, it's, it's Singapore's birthday seven days from now. Yep. So, um, we will be taking off time live streaming our game, our usual game, because we will be, uh, what do you call that? Watching the live stream of... Oh, oh. National Day instead. Do you know what oh, they're doing, actually? Like, it's gonna be really interesting. It's all around the country. It's so cool. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> I don't what, know what's, what's going what's actually, on. Yeah, what's the program like? I have no idea. Typically, we have our parades in like one, one spot in Singapore, right? But they're doing it in many, many different areas. Huh. So they've got like, I don't know, <laughs> major events going on in different parts. Just that but all on TV. So like it, we'll each get contingent team. has like five people because of the quarantine rules and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they have to stand like one one meter one apart. One meter apart, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see one tank, one tank just going down the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the parachuters come out, and it's just one one guy. Woo! <laughs> oh man! <sighs> just just to throw it out there, um, before we get started, uh, what if what if just. An idea. What if we stream on like Saturday afternoon or something like that? Ooh, I might have something on though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just wanna, I just wanna ask and check if we can move it to another day, or even like <laughs> the schedules. Yeah, or even the Thursday evening stream, we replace it with the game instead. Okay. Cool. Then we can have more time to think about the following arc. Mm. Oh yeah, because that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Cause I have a list of stuff, and I feel like we're not gonna end today. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're not ends. gonna finish. We're not. We're not gonna finish the arc today. Well, with this guy in the corner missing, we might not even get to start today. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Wait. Just as I said that, I see something moving in his window. He might be back. Just pretend I didn't say anything about him, okay? <laughs> it's okay. not me. Oh hey. I don't think he watches the VODs. No, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Can, can uh, yeah. you hear us, Ari? I see your face. I see your face. Is that him or his? Or is him? What's he just? Yes, why is he just or? staring at his chair? <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing. They just screen freeze. It's yeah, he screen froze. froze. Okay, he's oh, back. Okay. All right, he's back. Yeah. Hello. Guess Hi, who's now. back? Welcome. How, how come I can't see y'all on video? Oh my god, I can see y'all again. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Friends. So Ari, um, before we get started, because uh, we're done with everyone else. Okay. Ah, shit. What, oh, what shit. none do you have your butter chicken with? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, okay. yo. Like, I mean, you can never go wrong. It's so creamy, then, like, and, like, the cheese is filling. It's, it feels like a pizza, but it's not a pizza. And, like... Dude, it, it just feels so wholesome when you have it with cheese. And then after it end it off, you have it with butter. Just one. And you're done. Mm. Wow, that sounds great. Thank you for the detailed explanation. Yeah, man. I think okay. something is wrong with my internet. I just switched over to my phone one, and like now it's clear. Oh, as yeah. Hell. Now you're a lot better, man. Like, okay, let's, oh, let's, let's yeah, plan out. Okay. Just because it might be a cool idea. We all order takeout. Maybe like... 
two or three weeks from now so we can kind of like pre-plan what exactly we want to order we don't need to tell each other and then we we play a stream with the takeout food sounds like a plan I mean, that sounds like me almost like every other stream <laughs> yeah, I do that anyway. <laughs> that's true you do, yeah. do that <laughs> all right um are you by the way can you hear yeah. the music playing from roll 20 uh i am scared to uh, like turn on the safari and everything because like so far the connection has been all right i don't want to start jinxing it and stuff okay good luck okay but but, but i think it should be all right okay this you can check with when we play the recap i guess mm-hmm. so f- ah yes last announcement before we play the recap um tomorrow we'll be doing faction turns so if you want to have a faction and you want to play a country in this world that we're playing in called the Penelope Island Penelope Island Penelope uh, Island yeah 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 alright uh, just hit, type exclamation mark discord uh, p- drop me a message let me know which faction you want to join currently we do have I think three people who are running different factions any faction that doesn't have anyone I run it so you can kind of see what it, how it plays out tomorrow and if you think uh it looks very complicated but i swear when you see it actually happening it's a lot simpler so if you are into that and you like playing community-based games like these just check out the discord nice yeah yes my head is always cut off because i'm sure. one of the s- smaller screens on brian's brian side so i'll try my best to sit as far as possible so that uh, my face is mostly in the screen. Okay, um, that being said, I dig the music. Let's shoot that. Yes, I'm also the smallest person. Let's start shooting, playing the, <laughs> the recap. All right. Last time on Fried Dice Paradise presents the Penelope Islands. The party begins traveling towards the next nearest village, the Silent Canary. The first thing they find is a dead antelope's body that is abnormally cold, as if all its blood had been drained. The cause is unknown, and the party continues through the pathway. Along the way, they are ambushed by dust goblins, who instead of immediately attacking, ask the party about the armor that Rio wears. The dust goblin leader, Zegda, immediately infers that the dust goblin leader of Verde, Hegemon, must have been killed. She explains that he had a temper, and that she wasn't entirely surprised that he had died. She proceeds to explain to the party that the dust goblins that the party has met are also soldiers of the Void. The blind martyrs were known to be angry. Zegda explained that they had met another knight of the Void named the Forger, who is someone who is also less than happy. Eventually, the party reaches the Silent Canary. They notice that people keep a distance from them and as Angkor forces someone to interact, the person responds harshly. A young lady named Amari interrupts and splits them up before a fight occurs. Amari then offers to bring the party to the inn, where they see a board with posters listing many items that are missing. Shoes, keys, some daggers and knives as well. Every time the party probes about the village, Amari simply replies with State Secrets! Amari then reveals that her intentions for helping the party were so that she could follow the party on their adventure. Amari then brings the party to an enchantry where they meet Bakken, the Air Ganassi, who has various water-related enchanted objects. The party ends up buying magical beads that can be popped to make more food and water. The party then continues to make their way towards the next village. Along the way, the party sees a series of scarecrows in the distance, and the party is immediately suspicious. Fernanda and Bolvar stealth over to the scarecrow, leaving Amari, Angkor, and Rio behind. Bolvar notices gears within the scarecrow's bodies, and while Fernanda tries tying a rope around one of them, the scarecrows begin to move and are immediately looking for signs of danger. They see Bolvar, and most of them begin heading towards him. Bolvar's affinity for fire proves to be useful, as the scarecrows seem to be vulnerable to the flames. Veneta casts a fear spell, only to learn that the scarecrows are constructs that do not feel such emotion. 
As the Scarecrows retaliate after Fernanda loses her invisibility, she learns that the Scarecrows can induce magical fear. Amari shows her technical proficiency with a crossbow, and Ryo focuses arcane vision on one of the Scarecrows, and he notices every gear and a battery within the Scarecrow. It reveals its construct nature. He blasts the Scarecrows with magic missiles. Ankor then uses this opportunity to teach Agnes and Roderick about fighting. Bovar finally incinerates the remaining Scarecrows with his burning ferns, and the dust settles. As the party continues to travel, they witness in the distance a pack of displacers fighting what appears to be massive mosquito-like creatures. One of the displacers becomes fodder for the swarm, and the party watches from the distance. When the mosquitoes fly off, Bolvar uses this opportunity to skin the displacer, finally obtaining the skin of a fantastic beast that he had never seen before. The party tells several stories in one of the evenings. Angkor tells the story of why the piña has a hundred eyes. Bolvar talks about his family and how he disagreed with the furbolg lifestyle. Ryu talks about his parents as well and how his father fought for half-elven rights. And Frenetta claims that her first kiss was with the Sultan of Verde, Iago Formalusa. As they reach the following village, they see a familiar looking scarecrow being repaired by a halfling. Who is this halfling? Where are the caves of Patingin? And who is the Watcher? <laughs> and we're back. So, Frenetta, your goals are cartograph the cave. Oh, cartograph yes. the cave. Why, why am I speaking weird? Cartograph the cave, find the caves, and run logistics. On the cave? <laughs> On the cave. Uh, uh, well, the, the logistics part is going to be a bit weird right now. Yeah, I think, I think you might want to change that one. Uh, cut, wait, wait, yeah, <laughs> cartograph. I recommend you change the last one. Cartograph the cave. Then, what's the next one? <laughs> find the caves. Oh yes, find the cave. You know, I could just copy paste it and send it to you on like, no, Telegram fine. or something next time. And I then like, third one, I recommend you change it because, um, I think we're gonna change the system for it because it wasn't fun. Um, let's see. Uh, Ralph, um, what is I'm sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. fine, Ralph? What yeah. is yours? Is in whoa, 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 what are your goals again? Um, it was three, but I'm thinking of condensing two into one and then introducing another one. So, what are yours? So, uh, mm. My original three was fulfill Rio's vision in the caves, one. Then two, make it to the caves in one piece. That's the second one. And three is my history of the nine nights of the void. But I'm thinking of combining the first two. So like, make it to the caves in one piece and fulfill Rio's vision. So that'll be one goal. The second one is um, history of the nine nights of the void. And the third one is... Uh, um... Uh, awaken my weapons. As awaken your weapons. Awake, awaken uh, uh, those two. Those two voices in my head. I mean, it's also partially as a part to figure out this whole nine nights of the void mythos. Uh, oh, Bolvar, what's yours? I've, I've saved that. Yep. yep. Bolvar. Mm -hmm. What's yours? What my goals? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can start with me. Uh, I, same, like, previously. Uh, find that magic artifact, right? Basically another magic item. Mm -hmm. uh, I have that, yeah. Yeah. Find uh, out more about Saul. Yeah, Saul. And then, okay, this is going to seem a bit like a cheap trip. Okay, I, I have a reason why I'm going to choose this goal. Uh, we will explore the subsequent goals from this goal later on, but I want to find out how the artifact seminage should bring, like, to inject life, uh, okay, I, I'm not sure if it's an artificer, but like how this fellow managed to inject life into the scarecrows. 
Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Well, basically, how you make the scarecrows work. Yeah. Okay. Um, for Encore, just because I thought of something, hmm? it might be easier to say awaken at least one of the weapons. Oh, yes, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Let's yeah. morning. Wake up. Um, Wake up. Rio, you want to learn more about your armor, you want to yes. meet the Watcher, and what's the deal with the Scarecrows? Right? Yeah, that's the new one. Cool, what's got up it. with the Scarecrows? I want to find out what's on the Scarecrows as well. <laughs> <laughs> you just need stealing experience from That's from basically why he made all of us go. He wanted to see what we're all doing. Yeah. <laughs> Try to pick the easiest goal. Okay. Steal. This episode, most probably, I don't think we're going to be able to leave the town. I think most probably going to end up a mission, right? So, like, might as well find out what the hell is the deal with the Scarecrow. I mean, then again, he did take a part of the Scarecrow, right? so, like, that makes a bit more sense. Yeah, but uh, it'll, it'll make the goal lower experience on average. Ah, uh, okay. If two of you finding the same goal. Okay, then, I might as well don't do that. Um, I would say... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone went through, and he still hasn't decided what he wants for his goal. I was your butter chicken with Nana. Uh, you could I... consider not having a goal, and then you know. Mm, I would say push liquid emerald again. Oh. Huh. Oh. Sure. Do you still have? Okay, never mind. He doesn't have any with him right now. I think, but we'll see. Oh, uh, with I? her right now. Sorry. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so all of you have your goals. Yeah. Just to clarify for Fernetta, cartograph, cartograph the cave, find the cave, and push Liquid Emerald Tilt. Mm -hmm. Cool. The heat of the sun bears down on your heads, but the village in the distance livens up your hearts. However, you see a familiar looking scarecrow with a halfling man repairing or maintaining it, whilst two villagers. A couple watches him. After he finishes, you see him hand the scarecrow to the couple and they turn it on and it follows them into the village. He then pulls out another scarecrow out of what appears to be some kind of crate and continues working on that one. As you all continue walking towards the village. Rio, can you make an arcana check? Ooh, first roll. Thank you for the honor of the first roll of the day. <laughs> I'll First do everyone roll. proud. Please be one. That'll be As so with funny. all my one. Arcana rolls, Nat. they have always Nat. been the most amazing rolls, alright? The best rolls. That Nat. Nat one. Shut up! Hey, nice! Yeah. No! Okay. So, um, for everyone who's watching for the first time, at the end of the stream, we always do MVP votes. Whoever is MVP gets um, inspiration. And I believe right now it's Fernetta, was it? Me. No, 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 no. It's me. Rio. It's me. Oh, it's Bovar. Yeah. Okay, so Bovar has the inspiration right now. I got the lowest votes last week. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> if, they don't, if they don't use inspiration. Uh, yeah, maybe it's because of that fear. You try to scare robots. I think it's the fear, yeah. And like, I ended up using, yeah. yeah. I mean, that one, like, let me complete a goal, man. So, like, hey. So. That's, that's true. Um. Yeah, Rio, you rolled a 16. Yes, thank you. Okay. As you reach the edge of the village, you you see. A I pot. see. <laughs> okay. You know, you you described it as like a uh, toff from Avatar, right? That pulse of yeah, 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 white yeah. line, right? Um, you see that originating from somewhere about a couple hundred feet away from you, and then you see the outline of every object in the radius. Of that pulse. Um, immediately, you know that it's arcane in nature. Uh, you don't hear anything. Um, you feel it. To everyone else, it's like as subtle as any random rumble in the ground. The only other person who I think would notice is Bolvar. You do feel that there's a slight increase in magical influence, mm -hmm. but not so much that it's super abnormal, mm -hmm. but you do feel it. But Rio. Yes. You see it. Yes. In the distance. I'm so happy. It's the first time seeing in <laughs> um, a couple of weeks now that I've been blind. So, what, what do you guys want to do? Yeah, so Bova, uh, semi levitating off the ground, 
uh, upon seeing the, the 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 halfling, knowing who was behind the scarecrows and like visibly annoyed, Bovis calms himself down, you know, drops back to the ground, eyes go back to normal. Um, well, boys, looks we looks like we found our uh, pesky little um tinkerer. Bloody hell. Let's go kill him. Oh. I mean... We might have some use for him, you know what I'm saying? Let's go find him. Yep. I'm gonna go talk to him. And Boba just starts walking towards the halfling. It's not very far away, right? It's like... Yeah, uh, uh, like, you guys would have to be within about 60 to 70 feet from the edge of the village before uh, Rio feels this pulse. So that's your range. Is Amari still following us? Yeah. Amari's still with y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot we had someone like that. I forgot about she, she's her. the one who said, that's the same scarecrow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Well, okay while we're going towards the, him, I'll be like, yeah, Amari, you want, are you, are you, we're here already. Are you going to stick with us for now or you want to shout? Um, I'm not sure, you know. I feel like uh, I need to find more state secrets. Hey, uh, I think Bova, I think you should lead with this one. You're, you're, you've always been the smartest one in the group. <laughs> well, also, that's I right. Mean, I mean, I, I'm, I'm smart. We all know that. But, you know, always got to give the young ones young time ones. to buy. Okay, fine, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> but young ones, you know Bova is 70 years old, right? Yeah. I think I think Vanetta is the youngest. Yeah, one. I'm trying to make you feel better, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Amari, Amari, okay. Why don't you just stay with us for a while? Mm. Yeah. I mean, we could use some, you know, an extra hand. You guys didn't want to feed me. You had enough food, what? But still. Yeah. You say you well. want adventure, right? You know, it's it doesn't take much to realize that you're not exactly, um. Wanted in the group. Okay, wait. So wait, let me get this straight. You expected us to feed you and keep you protected when we don't even know anything about you, and you don't even tell me anything. And like, well, I'm supposed to get. Uh, so I'm just supposed to be getting hit all the time while you actually go away scot free, dude. Come on, man. Is right. Well, firstly, I'm a lady too. And uh, secondly, yeah. I'm a cat fight you, man. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> I didn't expect you to give me food every day, which is why I went foraging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we like, we all and if you go with like Ankor and Rio, did you see them forage? Uh, we all had our part to do. What was your part again, apart from just foraging? Did you know the road to take? Did you know how to keep us safe? Did you go in front and see for all the other troubles and stuff? Um, Wait. You and Bovar turned invisible and disappeared. Okay. Yeah, we. Oh, had all right, it. all right, all right, all right. Well, at least I shot a couple here. times. We're here. It's still blood near you. Aturad, <laughs> <laughs> Aturad. Yeah. Oh, we, we, I. They, then she points at the village and she's like, "They, they, they look like they're Amarian too." So you might wanna be like, you know. Respectful when you greet. Mm. I I hope they don't treat you the way that you know people from my village talk to people. Mm. We hope so too. You know, well, can stay with us if you want, but if you gotta go, you gotta go. You know, it's yeah. your choice. I mean, anyway, I, as in, I mean, you know, we're going to this really cool cave that no one knows of. So I, I mean, I'm just saying that there's gonna be secrets there, and you don't even know what we're who we're working for. So. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> Where are you guys heading to next? Uh, State secrets. State secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, boys. Boy, boys. Yeah, just, so I'm getting weird vibes here. Do you want me to follow or not? Hey, welcome to the fact of being a girl. You never know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're. That's rude. <laughs> I'm a girl too. <laughs> I mean, in in sure. this sense. Like. I okay. don't know if, um, no, you guys are giving me mixed signals. It's not me. I'm okay. cool. Do you want to follow us? I don't mind. 
Are it's been fun. Quit complaining? I haven't died. I never complained. I, I just you. explained why I wanted to leave. Well, word of warning, it's only going to get even more dangerous after this. Well, and she... Uh, no scratches. I for now. Foraging for food, man. Yeah, and you guys look like you need help foraging for food. Mm. Ah, yeah, okay, I tell you what, next time, uh, next time, I forage food, then you can go scout. Okay. Mm. Wait, but that again, she's the one that brought us, like, I think she's got the natural on the day, right? Oh, yeah, she managed to get a lot of food on the day. <laughs> yeah, she managed to get a lot of food for us. <laughs> but it's well, enough for herself, like, we didn't take much from her, right? No, man. Like, yeah, she, she mostly got food for herself. Yeah. Okay, anyway, shouldn't we have reached the guy already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I guess we're nearing... Uh, okay, it's, is he out in the open just doing yeah, his yeah. shenanigans? Yeah, he's just out in the open... Uh, fixing that scarecrow. Okay, can I just can like, before, before we reach... Oh, I can't shatter, man. Like, can, can I just like, take a look, like, what's he doing? Like, okay, it's, is he like, focused on... It's because you said that people were actually like, crowding around him, looking at what he was doing. It wasn't like a lot of people, mm -hmm. just now what we saw was like a couple. Oh, okay. Like two, like oh, okay. two people. Like literally one guy and one lady. And then he turned on the scarecrow, the scarecrow stood up. It looked exactly the mm -hmm. same as the scarecrow as you guys fought. And then it followed them into the village. Oh, as it followed the... The couple, yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Hmm. Okay, does he see us coming? Like, I guess we're still walking towards him, does he like, I notice mean, he's, us? He's pretty focused. Okay. Like, it's not that he doesn't notice you, it's more like, you know, you when you're working on something and you mm. see someone going past, you're like, oh, it's just some random person. Mm. And continue working or whatever. Mm. But yeah. So I'm going to just fiddle into my rucksack and pull out the, the core that I got out from the other uh, scarecrow. Mm -hmm. And I go towards him like, hey, you there. Oh, oh, oh. And he's like, uh, a halfling man. Mm. Um, so oh he is really small like I'm totally I'm just looking at my feet. Yeah, you're yeah. you're massive compared yeah. compared to him. He has a a decent beard. It's not too it's more like fluffy rather than big, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Um Whoa, and then like the Santa Claus one. Mario. Not really. It's not that long. And then he and then he looks up and he's like, Oh, ooh, I, I haven't seen people like you around before. Hmm. And then he, he's just staring up at you. You wouldn't want to see more. One. Well, you wouldn't want to see more. Then I just take out and show you. This is yours. Oh, ooh, you you. No, I don't, I don't hand it to him. I just like hold it there, like way okay. out of it. You, you have to like jump pretty high, just like <laughs> get it from me. Yeah, if he tries to get it, I just like pull it up. You know what I mean? Like like a, like a kid, like <laughs> yeah, get it, like like the cat toy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he he looks at it, and then he's like, oh, um. Yes, it it is mine. Uh, you, the the scarecrows that were meant to protect the road on the way here. Mhm. Mm well, damn near gave us a bit of trouble. You might want to watch where you put those scarecrows and who you intend to aim those scarecrows at. I, uh, to be honest, I, I never thought that y you would be here. This is a total accident. I apologize. Ah, mm. uh, what? Inside check. Is he lying? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what? Aggressive, man. Yeah. Pro player. <laughs> Pro player, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Pro player indeed. I mean, as far as as far as far you know, he seems completely honest. Nice. You rolled a one. Yeah, and then he, he looks up and, and then he looks at Frenetta and Rio and then he's like, D Did it attack that one though? And he points at Angkor. Attacked all of us. Why? Huh? Why, Wait, why, why, why? Why do you ask Wait. about that? And did it attack Amari? And then Amari is like, nope, no scratches. Oh yeah, I did attack Angkor. Yeah. To attack humans? Is that it? I don't know. Did well, you I mean, it to attack uh, humans non -humans? and Ganassi, because that's what the villages, ra I mean. races are. To be fair, we are aware that they are so travelers. I, I totally didn't mean for it to hurt any of you, I, I, I swear. Uh, yeah, so Boba's eyes just <laughs> burst into like blue flames and I just stare him. You have uh, a but problem. you trust him though, because of your terrible insight. 
uh, he's don't think he's lying. Okay, yeah, he's not lying, but like, I am enraged that this guy is not, like... Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm offered. Um, wh what can I do to, to basically, um, repay for the damage? Hmm. Okay, then, then the blue flames start to settle. <laughs> <laughs> well... Since you put it that way, and you know, we made it out alive and stuff. How do you make these, um, scarecrows? Are you an artificer of sorts? Can you make a persuasion check? Yeah, let's go. Cool. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. Yeah, see you guys next week. Uh, really nice joining <laughs> y'all. For yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, Bye. Bye. You have, you Thanks have for joining us. You have inspiration. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna inspire. Yeah, I do use inspiration for that. What? <laughs> Straight up. Oh, on this. Okay, you know what? I use chrono <laughs> shift. I use chrono shift instead. Like after, so that's why I imagine like Bova like up, 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 Then he like he snaps his fingers and like goes a few seconds back in time. Chrono shift. <laughs> Two natty ones in a row. Yeah, man. Oh my god. You uh, see, it's fate, dude. Oh, I'm gonna chrono wow, shift again. Like like, screw that. <coughs> Is that it? Nope. I'm gonna chrono shift again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, great. Finally. He he looks at you and then he he blinks a bit. He's like, um, c could you hand it and I'll show you? Hand it? He's as in pass him the core. The core. Yeah, the core. Hmm. Hold on, what, what's this made of? Um, hand, hand it and I'll, sh and I'll point at the components. Yeah, okay, I'll pass it to him. Yeah, so he as he holds it, he starts pointing at different components. He starts explaining what... Um, can you make an arcana check to yep. see wh whether you understand what's happening? A natural one again, I bet. Like a plus six. Oh my... Inspiration. Okay, with an eight, Whoa. I'm not gonna say you don't understand anything okay, sure. because you are a wizard, yeah. right? Um, from the surface knowledge that he's giving you, you know immediately that it has to do with um, it's basically a similar process to making golems mm. or constructs. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and it's a pretty straightforward process. One thing that throws you off is when he um, when he mentions. When he starts talking about how he in uses like um, fear-based magics, yeah, yeah, to affect the claws and the and the eyes, and that part throws you off because it's like information that is completely new to you. Mm. So, what about this fear-based uh, this necromancy? Um, I believe it's uh, en enchantment actually. Mm. Doesn't really work that much. Just saying. <laughs> well, um, work on us. Well, I'm I'm glad it it usually works on the displacers and those giant mosquito things that um come by. Well, gotta fine tune those robots, those scarecrows. Yeah, you should design them to attack the creatures that are supposed to be attacked, not just any old random creature. Well, well, um, I have what 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 are you by the way? And he looks at um. He looks at uh, Bovar. Well, I'm a furbolg. Okay, um, I will program that. That furbolgs mm. are should not be included. Mm. And you are, and he looks at Veneta. Lizard uh, folk or dragonborn? <laughs> or you could actually, you know what? Just, just, just let it attack dragonborns. Okay, <laughs> let let it attack dragonborns. But could you program it not to attack Jasmine? Pink dragon? Well, I mean, if I know that there are dragonborns coming by here, I'll most probably, well, not no. attack dragonborns in general. I'm the only dragonborn that's gonna be here, but there's gonna be like this really ugly dragonborn that might or might not come. And if he comes, please kill him at all costs. He's, an, he's, um, he's just an There are a few guy. that you don't wanna like. Okay, but sure. Shit. I generally speaking don't want to kill anyone. Mm -hmm. I have Mostly an idea. just scare away the displacers and the mosquitoes. Mm. How? Yeah. Instead of excluding like one race at a time, why not just include the races that you don't want 
in your village, right? It's, it's extremely dense magics, and it takes a very long time. I, I do intend on including as many races as possible. Ah, uh, the next time I'm... Yeah, why not? I'll just be invisible. He'll be fine. <laughs> that is also a good idea, but I, I would like to prioritize um, certain um, peoples first, and I, I don't mean to sound like... Um, like I am ostracizing anyone, but rather it's just a, a matter of time before I get to everyone. Hmm. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. It, it's alright if you attack Dragon Bonds, because like, I'm the only nice one around. Trust me, I know that. Hmm. And, so, and that one looks like an elf. Oh, I am an it, elf. <laughs> it is hmm. an elf. I'm just gonna ask a bit more, like, would you know if, you know, this magics, the, the, the magics that you're using, would they... Do you know anything about necromancy? Um, I I've always been more of an enchanter myself. I'm an artificer. Hmm. Well, good to know. Hey, how much does it cost to make one of that thing? Of of what thing? Your scarecrow thing. Um, well, I, I'm funded by the mayor. Of this of this little town, mm. and um, it, it costs easily five to six hundred gold pieces in mm. about a week's work of time. Mm. Which reminds me, how many did you destroy? You don't want to know. <laughs> enough. We, we, at we at least enough. one, I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I both just like hmm, maybe um. You should really, really work on that targeting system. How about if it attacks only like angry looking people? <laughs> Displacers and the, and and the giant mosquitoes don't exactly have um angry features. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then he like nods to Rio. Oh no. well. Uh, thanks okay. for explaining yourself. No, no harm done, I guess. But uh, what's yeah. what's the halfling's name? Oh yeah, what's his name? Like, so like Bobo oh. introduces. Yeah. Uh, my name is and give me a second. My uh, name. Uh, my name is Magno Zenry. Oh God. Magno you can Zen. call me Magno. Well, right. Magno. Um, just a little heads up. We might have killed a few of your scarecrows, so you better get back to work soon. Oh no. If it helps, um, you know, um, we heard you have some magic items for trade. Perhaps that could help with the cost. Um, well, you have destroyed several of, of my scarecrows. However, I, the, my, my, my pulse, um, my arcane pulses repel some of these displacers away. And those are the scary ones. Uh, the mosquitoes get quite scary when they're in large groups, but I, I think we are able to handle most of them. Mm. Oh. Um, would you like to buy a pulse cannon? Wait. Or, you know, you could. I could provide one of my spares. So you mean this thing will will repel displacers? Uh, well, that's what it's supposed to do theoretically. Uh, got got one for bigger monsters and all. Yeah, have does it work on patingins? Oh no, what patingins? What's it called again? Um, I'm looking for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for it too. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, uh, does it work on thick balance? Thick balance. Yeah. Those horse-headed mythological creatures. Mm -hmm. Um, we haven't seen any of those in a very long time. I mean, theoretically, if you could provide me with some uh, organic material, I could attune it. Mm. Mm. What organic material would you need? Uh, anything. Fur, skin. Of the take along? Yes, I, I could perhaps mm. make one for you. The yeah, problem is we kind of don't want to engage one, so I uh, don't think that's going to be viable. Yeah, I don't think anyone's seen one of those creatures in hmm. decades, yeah. if not centuries. Let's hope we don't meet it too. 
Um, well, welcome to Maple Water, by the way. Oh. oh. Maple Water. Wow. Such a Where did delicious... you get that name? <laughs> Such a delicious sounding place. Um, wait, where, where did you all come from? We uh, came from pretty far away. Like Blanco far or like Verde? Very far. Very, very far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was a good one. I'm sorry. Well, well, um, guess if you if you find something that um, is of value to you, um, do let me know and I'll see what I can do. Well, you guys need help with the uh, now that the scarecrows have been destroyed. Uh, my my pulse my pulses are fine. They should keep them away. And we do have hunters, so. Okay. Uh, would you would you like to find a place to stay? Oh, definitely. Are we gonna stay? Hi, team. What time is what it? Boys? What was the time in? Uh... Um, I think at this point it would be mid to late afternoon. Yeah, um, then we should just stay the night here. Orish. We're probably weak. Uh, smell yeah. check, smell check, like. This smell is check. Smell check. Constitution saving throw. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, he starts like, uh, let's go. Mm. Okay, I so as, as you guys walk right into the village, uh, through the main road that goes through the center of the village, um, as you guys approach, maybe about fifty feet away from the from the town square, right? Um, at this point, Rio, you you feel it, right? You see the the tremor spike making the pulses. Oh, every six seconds. I see. And oh, he cool. points he points at it and is like, uh, "This is this is a tremor spike." Um, it generally speaking keeps the displaces away because it produces a. Um, signal that is unattractive to them. Hmm. And generally speaking, the mosquitoes tend to attack um, the displacers because they're, they're, they're bigger bodied. More blood to consume. Hmm. That's nice to know. As I look at my dragonborn and furball, the giant friend. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get myself one of these tremor spikes? Um, oh. yes? Where can I get one? Um, how about if if I provide one? Forgive me for the attacks. And we're, oh. we're even. Ooh, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Sounds very good. I was about to forgive and him already just for explaining, but yeah, sure, this <laughs> just is great. Take it, just take yeah, it. Just take forgive, it. But if you, if you find... Other creatures that may potentially attack this village and provide me with some of their biological material. Oh. Hmm. And what? the village is tiny. It's oh. like maybe at most like two kilometers wide or so. Hmm. Well, that's small. Yeah, it's tiny. It's like seventy people max who live in this in this tiny village. Damn. Okay. I thought this village would be like quite big. No, oh, this is this is a tiny village. The previous one uh, that we were at was bigger, right? Slightly. Hmm. Like we're looking at hundred to two hundred people. Ooh, yeah. What? Biological sample. Yeah. Uh, yes, it, especially for any creatures that might attack. Here, if you can bring a live one, oh, that would be the most useful. Hmm. So we have to trap it and. What other creatures do we find out in the the plane, the savannas, you know, besides the displacer beasts and the mosquitoes? Well... Have you seen anything else? Lions? Mm -hmm. Thank god there are no vulture bears, that's why I left Verde in the first place. Mm. Um... I can't... These pulse cannons obviously don't work on the dust goblins, but generally speaking they avoid the villages, so that's fine. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Well, I will provide a spike tomorrow morning. Thank you, <coughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, how big is spike, actually? Yeah, oh, how, how big is a spike? You, like, you, you don't need to ask, you can see it. Okay. Right? It's like three feet long. Oh, it's not too big. Weighs about, yeah, shorter, shorter than, it's like half of Bolvar's height. Hmm. And it, it weighs around 15 pounds. No, it's okay. Which is about five ish kg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then you see it's it's a large spike, and then it stands on like a tripod. Hmm. Right? And then you just see it, like, and it'll slowly go up, and then. Oh, yeah. It, like, and every time it hits the ground, that's when you, when you, when Rio specifically sees the arcane pulse. Hmm. Like, how long does one, uh, what's the battery life on? <laughs> battery life. What's, What's a battery? battery life on one of these um, spikes? I mean, you know, how long does it last? Th theoretically speaking, as long as I've attuned it to one of the magical ley lines, theoretically it shouldn't run out for the next hundred years. Hmm. But what if we bring it out? Because, you know, if we leave this place, we're not set up camp, you know. Do we need to tap into the ley lines? The ley lines stretch the entire globe. Would Bova know what the ley lines are? Uh, make an arcana check. Okay. It's not a standard belief. Yeah, yeah. Arcana. Okay, finally. Good. 17. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think... I think, to you, this is a plausible theory. Yeah. I probably wouldn't know exactly because I've never worked with it, but like... I think I yeah. bumped Bo Bova. I'm like, the hell's a ley line? I have no, not too sure of how to do somewhere, but uh, so I, I go towards uh, Magnus and I'll be like, Magno, and I'll be like, how do we find a ley line? It's not really a physical thing. It's like metaphysical. Mm -hmm. It exists beyond basic human comprehension. We can't feel it or see it with our mere senses. Do you cast spells? Yes, I do. Happen to be a wizard. Ah. Th that is where the magic comes from. Mm. Without the ley lines, there would be no magic. <coughs> okay. I, I look at uh, Rio, Rio, you know, um, do you see us? Do you, what do your blind eyes see? <laughs> I don't say elf eyes, but like elf eyes, are like yo, you're not an elf. I, I think I can see pretty much everything based on the like little reverberations that are being sent yeah, out. Yeah, can he actually? Like. Yeah. Uh, you can't hear the spike, but Rio sees the pulse every yeah, six seconds. Yeah, the pulse. Okay. I'm not hearing it, but it's like a few. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You magically see that. But it's from where the, like, <laughs> starts from the spike, right? Yeah, so the moment the spike hits, the first thing you see is the spike, because it travels up the spike. Mm. Right? And it travels down the tripod, and then it expands around until it hits, like, the the buildings, uh, down to where your feet are, and then you see it travel up your body. So mm. theoretically, I could have one with me, and just, like, jab it into the ground wherever I am yeah and then I can see for a little bit like for up to a certain radius that's yeah. cool oh that's so cool oh my that god is nice. why I want it I mean yes thank you yeah nice <laughs> you should like you should like attach it to like your bag or something right and then like, oh, every time man, you fall right gonna... it just it's like poking 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 oh I Take don't care. know if that works that sounds cheaty just, I mean, just jab it in your foot or something Oh yeah, dude. Just just like you know, like paste it on your side, and every time you walk, you're like jabbing it to the ground. Like uh, piercing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, literally piercing. Well, um, any points and uh, in, in uh, you can stay there. Um, just say that. Um, put put it on my tab. Say say Magno provides. For, for us, and um, 
they, they should let you let you in. And are, are we even after that? I, I truly am very sorry. Hmm. Very even. Thank you for your hospitality. We weren't expecting. Oh, yes. We weren't expecting um this much of a apology. Thank you, uh, good sir. Ma Maple Waters, we 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 are very friendly people. Do you know anywhere I can well, get much more food around the this place? Village. Hmm? Yeah. Um, food. Yeah, um. For travels. I w we can make you can make purchase at the inn. Hmm. Oh, before we split up, you think you can make the thing smaller? No, oh, this is the, the smallest. The, the tremor spike. Yeah. Um. You would be at the expense of range and uh, lifespan. Uh, okay. I think the size is good. Actually, could I grab it tonight? <laughs> <laughs> um, Why do? Okay. No, I want to bite it. I, um, I, I could. could you could follow me after I finish completing this, this um, scarecrow that you saw outside, and then I can teach you how to work it. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Mm. Yeah, no, I want to like bond it overnight. I mean, I need an hour to bond it so I can summon the the spike at any time. <laughs> <laughs> so hmm. I don't have to carry it around. That sounds okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You need to spend a night with it. No, nah, it's just nice. an hour. Just an hour. Okay. You can straddle the spike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So, um, we know Rio is hanging out with Magno. Where is everyone else going? I'm gonna ask, okay, I'm gonna ask Magno. Well, Magno, um, you seem to be really in tune with magic, you know, I mean, you being an artificer and all. Um, have you seen any magic users pass by, you know? How, how, wait, can I just, uh, how is Magno's, like, roughly? It's not a young he guy, He is right? a halfling who is about, I, I believe we discussed, I discussed this with chat. Halflings can um, live for pretty long, right? Right? Yeah, about two centuries. Alright, yeah. Maybe. Um, he... He's like middle-aged. Okay, sure. So he's like 50 to 60 halfling years. We're looking at like 30 years old human years. Okay. okay. Well, um... Do you see any magic users pass by here? You know, um, the past few I, years? To, to be honest, I generally speaking don't like socializing, so I don't really see anyone. Um, however, I, I do think I made a mistake with your party. Um, and I'm, I'm just hoping after this, you know, I, I generally don't like, I'm quite a shy person. No hard feelings from us. So we haven't seen, you know, so, and I described Solvagara. <laughs> Have you seen this fella pass by, you know? <laughs> We it's haven't really had visitors in a very long time. Hmm. Not not in my lifetime here, at least. Alright. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your time and uh, hospitality. And again, no no hard feelings. I, I appreciate that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Magno? Y yes? Who's the oldest person in this village? I assume you guys introduced yourselves already. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. I'm Uncle by the way. <laughs> who's who's the oldest person in the village? The oldest mm. might be one of the kids' granddads. Where? Where's this person? Um, I could go get him if you want. Though I don't understand why. Never mind, okay. you, you go work on your machine thing. I'll uh, just point me in the direction I'll go. I, I'll need to ask around. Eh, okay. Then, you got a library or not? Um, we, we don't have a library here. We're, generally speaking, a poor fishing village. Okay. I came across this town and they're all really friendly and I decided to protect them with my technology is there a bar here by any chance the the, the inn sells some alcohol yeah uh, okay so why don't you tell him because we, we're staying in the inn right guys 
Uh, yep. Once you find the old, the oldest fella, yeah, tell the fella to meet me in the inn. Uh. Uh, I'll, I'll just be in the inn. And no, I think I'll... Angkor just goes chill out in the inn. Uh. It's, I'm, is... I'm going to the inn with Angkor. <laughs> is there a reason that I can give him? Uh, just tell him that uh, we want to know more about the history of this beautiful island. Okay. Maybe hopefully he knows someone. Unless you know someone who knows better history. Um. The the chief. Ah uh, oh, better. Okay, yeah. Anything, anything, anything. Um, I'll see if it's free. Okay. Okay, so Fernetta and Angkor are going to the inn. Amari, yeah, Boba's going to go to the inn. In as well. uh, okay, no, you know Boba's going, going to follow Rio, and I just want to see how the arcane pulses work. Okay, yeah. uh, Amari will most probably follow Angkor and Fernetta. She's lazy. Yep. Oh. You don't want to see how they made a robot, uh? You don't want any state robot? secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. Okay. Okay, so we'll do the inn scenario afterwards. So. After he finishes completing the scarecrow, uh, you see a mother and a child come and collect it, and then the scarecrow follows them back to their village. And then he starts walking uh, throughout the town, and you see, like most of the villages are like normal village buildings, right? Like haystack roofs and stuff like that. And then you see a small little like met- metallic, cylindric, uh, hot like hut with like steam coming out and then he's like Haha, my house kind of sticks out doesn't it mm-hmm. yeah um, it does well uh, welcome to my humble abode and then he opens the door and lets you guys in so I guess Boba needs to like almost squat to like walk in yeah you definitely <laughs> need to like bend pretty low it's, it's like you know that scene where uh, Get Delph enters the shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's like that, <laughs> right? And then he, um, he starts making brewing some tea, hmm. and he's like, um, well, c- careful, it's a little warm, and he passes you guys the cups. Yeah, thanks. And you. then he's like, um, well, where I'm from, my my homeland, they they weren't really very um, accepting of technology like they were cool with it cool but they they wouldn't support me unlike uh the, the mayor in this town and then he takes out one of the spikes and then he he starts explaining how to use it right and then he says um uh, this is one of my spares um it it should work mm-hmm. and then i'm gonna show you guys Okay, so I just shared the item with y'all. Yep. It's called a tremor spike. Okay, I'm so um, it has the word "see everything." Ah, it's mm-hmm. all I've wanted for a long time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. but it takes an action and a bonus action. Okay, yeah. he explains that you have to stick it into the ground for okay. it to um, like. X has the ley lines. Oh, this and allows Rio to see. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, it takes a bonus action to turn it on. Okay. Okay. So basically, it's one whole turn to set it up. Unless you foresee a fight coming, then you can <sighs> straight away. And I have to summon it if I if I'm not carrying it. Every yeah. time. Every time. DM asks for marching order, right? Stick it to the ground. Yeah, this has to be the first thing I do, right? <laughs> marching order. That, that's so the kind marching of, order. The thing on the ground. That's, that's the kind of meta gaming that will get you guys into trouble. Because <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get you guys to, to give me marching order long before there's a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ask for it for no reason at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So. Uh, yeah, and he explains, um, like, the tip is a special um, yellow amethyst. Nice. Yellow that, tip. Yeah, that, that <laughs> allows it to access the, 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 the ley lines from Amarillo, specifically. Oh, only Amarillo? 
Um, he he says he hasn't tried. Like then he explains that he hasn't tried it before in other countries. Uh, but it seems to be able to access the magical sources here for sure. Mm-hmm. If it's the same in other, theoretically, it should work in um, other countries with the same ley lines. So in this continent, he's he's like theoretically in this continent it should work. If you move out of this continent, the ley, ley lines might be different. Okay. Okay. Theoretically. Okay. Thank you. Um. And then yeah, he explains everything to to Bovar. Okay, I I just like I guess I look around, I glance around. Do I see any more scarecrows or like things that? Okay, I'm I'm trying to look for like constructs that are non scarecrow. Like like does he have like golems or whatnot? So he he doesn't have a golem, uh, but you do see what appears to be some kind of like um like copper cobra. Hmm. And. I would say it's safe to assume that it is also a construct. Is it active or? Oh, uh, it's currently not moving. Okay. Interesting. Um. It, and if that is all, I, I I do not mean to chase you out, but I I'm more of a loner type. Hmm. Thank you so much for your time, though. Um, I've learned quite a bit. I think we've okay. learned quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um. Always glad to share my knowledge. We you anything? Oh, you done? I'm done. I'm I guess. Good. Thank right. you. Thanks. Uh, what's your name? Magno. Thanks for the tremor spike. You are very welcome. Hmm. But do come back with yeah, other creatures, like biomaterials, and I can uh, attune these spikes to them as well. It doesn't usually work on. Creatures like you and I, where we are no longer instinctual, where we have logic and reasoning. Right. Right. Okay, we'll do that. Mm-hmm. Yep, we'll do that. As okay. much as we can find. Yeah. I guess we're done here. Yep. Thanks so, for having us. Uh, we'll cut to the inn. Where, so, Angkor... Amari and Fernetta. As you guys walk towards the inn, you see the logo is a small rabbit's foot, and then it has the words "Rabbit Claw Inn" underneath. Oh, ah, okay. The Rabbit Claw Inn. Rabbits yeah. don't have. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So as you as you enter the Rabbit's Claw Inn, you guys can book uh, rooms for the night. You guys explain that uh, Magno is the one. Who is providing for it, and they trust you. They just trust you, and you guys sit down, order a couple of drinks. Eventually, wait. No, I go up to the bar and there. All right, all right. Hey, I, I I go up and I ask him. Hey, uh, do you guys have any um, you know, any good green stuff for me and my friends? Well, it's been a long adventure. Mm, he is like wiping a glass and he's green stuff well uh, uh, like what, have you what heard, kind have, of so um I've got a chain around my neck the the with the with, with all the liquid yeah. I'm like this liquid emerald you know this and then he looks and he's like um <laughs> that, that is too expensive for our our bar. Um, ah, last I heard it was 500 gold pieces for a tiny bottle. I tell you what, I can do way better for you. You want to try some? I open it. Oh, Is yeah. it actually liquid emerald? No, it's not. It's, it's like. Okay. And it's, then he, it's he... not liquid emerald. It's so fake, but like, it's just. It tastes so. Like, smooth, good. Like, it. It it smells good. It tastes good, but it's like just flavored water. <laughs> it's like pandan water. Think about it. Why do you? Wait, okay. what, what, how do you get pandan water? No, um, it's like. Can you make a like, deception check? Um. No, I think because I I always thought that it was actually like just like uh, I thought it was a healing potion. Turns out it was just like jack shit. It oh, was yeah. it was meant for me to use whenever I want to use it. Oh. Yeah, it's the colored water, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Make a deception uh, check. 
I, I think a 30 should ought to do it. Oh, you, you made you made a GM roll on accident, I think. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, so does it still count, guys? It was a net <laughs> 20 with a plus 10. It was a net, net, net 20 with a plus 10. It was a 30. Oh, right. He, yeah, I mean... he looks at it, and then he, he like, he's shaking as he reaches out. And then he's like, are, 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 you, are you legit? Oh, yes. And then Why he, wouldn't I be? He takes it, and then he sips it, and he's like, do you feel that aftertaste? Can you, can you feel the flavors of the fennel, the sweet fennel? Oh, that's what it is. is true. Yes. Mm. Oh. Oh. We, we we just made good in this town, and we're gonna like destroy the trust. The professional con man here. Yeah, man. Yeah, I and then and then what? Sell type shit. What do you do, Fernanda? I ask him. I'm like, hey, we actually do have like a oh. couple of crates. You know, further up in the other town, if you want to put words true, I could ask them to send some over. You know, like one or two just for you guys. You know, but for like a slightly lower price, definitely not around the 500 margin. Because, like, you know. That, that, that was incredibly delicious. Ah, yes, it is. Yes, it oh is. Oh my god. Was it actually delicious? No, it's. I mean, you managed to set him I mean, into like taking It was more like pandan water, right? Okay. Yeah, that's like, I mean, don't know how long he's been there, you know, I died of it and I came back to life with it, you know, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, so, yeah, so I mean, I, 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 I tell him, like, hey, um, you know, we, we, we could, I could, I could give some, you know, after my adventures around here and stuff, you know, I'll be tired and all that. Oh, by the way, I actually need food. By any chance, do you have something, you know? Uh. I, if you redirect this, I, I I will I will definitely want to um. I, I'll de- definitely it tastes so good. I'll buy a. I can maybe afford three or four bottles at most, with my my current uh, budget. Um. Uh, but yes, what what food do you need? Uh, we um, just need f- enough. Like food. for now or for travel? For 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 travel for travel. We're very simple people. Okay, uh, how, how many days worth? <clears throat> uh, Jay, how many days, are, bro? <laughs> I thought oh. you had a an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, man. Tra- you okay, are someone's be food guy. The days one way. Okay, wait. You know what? I I'm, I'm gonna find the Excel sheet now, and I'm gonna do this. Oh no, not Bluetooth exchange. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn it. Um, okay, I wanted to switch instead of one ration per person, right? To keep mm. it faster, uh, we just do by by day. Yeah, it's twelve rations a day. We got oh wait now thirteen. We got four horses. Yeah, I mean like so that we can ignore like horses and all that. We just do it by day. Right. Okay, just yeah. just bring it up. Uh, makes it. I I don't want you guys to spend like. 1,000 gold pieces on food you know and hoard food like crazy uh, and I don't want you guys to roll every day for um, what do you call that food. foraging slash hunting checks um, it's about 18.5 days so almost 19 days estimated assuming you guys don't get lost assuming you guys find the caves uh, dude no, now we are at um, wait, uh. So we are technically two days out from the cave, is it? No, you guys are eighteen days. Eighteen days. Yeah. Eighteen days from where the map says the cave is, lah. Yeah. So you guys <coughs> are about four hundred and seventy km away. Okay, so from, I, I, I from just the map that you guys have around four hundred fifty to four hundred seventy. I tell him somewhere around like. 50, 60 days worth, 50 days of food to 60 days of food. Okay. Um, then we'll do oh, the usual cause, price. Because it's, I mean, it's 18 on the way there. So I'm guessing 20 to 22 if we get lost. Mm-hmm. And then on the way back, because we already know the way back, then it's just a one way back. Yeah, in case yeah. we get lost as well. Um, yeah, so, so uh, if you want to buy 50, we'll just do... Uh, what, how much were you charging last time? It was 5 gold for one ration, was it? Uh... Wait, five gold, one ah, ration. Five gold, oh, no, was right. it one gold, one ration? 
No, I think we buy oh, one gold five ration. Sorry, yeah, one gold five. Yeah. No, one we, copper. We, I thought we <laughs> bag, bargained it down to like one, like ten, ten rations or eight rations for one gold, because we were buying on like a shit ton. Oh, that, that was, was with the it, guy. Yeah, that was oh, individual, okay. like yeah, fella. Uh okay, yeah. Yeah, I, if I'm not, I believe it is, um, five rations. For one one gold piece is worth five rations, so fifty would be ten gold pieces. And instead of oh no, it's one ration for five silver. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's one ration for five silver. So it's two rations for gold. Oh, okay. Okay, so, thanks, Vanetta. You settled all that. Yeah. Huh? Two, so two we'll ration. do. Yeah. So so instead of doing. Um, <laughs> counting horses and all that we'll just do by day to keep things simple so it'll be five silver pieces per day of ration okay i want to get through this as quickly as possible because it's boring just tell me how much i need we settled the math during break how about that (laughs) 50 50 days times five silver okay or 25 gold pieces okay cool so that's like okay yeah five each let's go yeah including amaria is that her name Amari is it's a f- yeah okay Am- Amari has five gold pieces to spare for sure okay she gives us five everyone takes five blah 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 I Done. assume that everyone pays you five eventually la. everyone pays me five and I deduct five for myself as yeah well. like while it doesn't happen in in story right now I'm, I'm bet he's just gonna she's just gonna ask you all for it later it's a deleted um, scene <laughs> 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 director's cut yeah <laughs> Um, eventually, about an hour or so in, uh, you see what appears to be a well-dressed man. Um, he has nice yellow um, batik clothes, right, and baggy pants. Uh, nice pointy shoes um and you see that his skin looks uh brown and rough like rock the rock or rock (laughs) like actual rock (laughs) the rock (laughs) the rock okay and um he walks in and then he's like um i got a message from uh and he's just saying this out loud I got a message from Magno that uh, I need to look for. Oh, there! And then he walks towards um, Angkor, Amari, and Frenetta, because Frenetta is obviously the only pink dragon born there. <laughs> and then he Hot sticks out his hand and he's like, um, "My name is Mayor Saudad, but people call me Chief." Chief. Aturan. Angkor. Angkor. Vanetta and hi, I'm Amari. And he's like, oh, um, very nice to meet you. Um, so why did uh, Magno tell me to come here? Oh, I, I just have some questions for you. Uh, hey, Fen, uh, is the map still with you? Uh, e- yes, yes, it can, is. Can, it is. Can you show him the map? Look, I, I take out the map that okay. we had and all that. Yeah, so, uh, Chief, um, so we are on our way to, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's the Caves of Batingin. And um, the map that we managed to get says in this area, since you guys stay here, I just want to know whether, if this is accurate. Or... Do you have a slightly um, better map or something that we should... Well, your map looks very expensive already <laughs> um uh, it very fine ink very fine parchment as well well the caves of Patingin um, are, are fable you know that mm, they were in mythological stories that you would read in books hmm. well, uh, perhaps you might have had whoa what was do you guys hear that okay never mind sorry I heard something in the room. Yeah, yeah I heard a, a loud exploding sound. I thought, I, it was a bird, 
I, I thought it was a bird like crashing onto your I, I remember last week you said, you know, you might see something in his room. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, but let's carry oh, on. Okay, let's not go there. <laughs> no, no, by this time, it like, came out from outside my room. Yeah, maybe now it's inside. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway. Um, <clears throat> play uh, this. Uh, oh, yeah, so uh, back to the chief. Uh, like, uh, so, uh, um, but do you know if it is in this? I would imagine that, you know, you being the chief, you might have told people not to come in that area because it's dangerous. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, is there anything you can tell us about where it is or anything that you might have learned about the thick balang that supposedly well, stays there? Anything about the caves? And then um, he starts showing you guys... Uh, okay, let's move over to the map so uh, what I can tell you guys what he's pointing at. Urgh. Okay, so you guys look at the map. He basically points at like uh, this hex. Wait, wait, I can't... Oh. <laughs> this hex, this hex, and this hex, and, and all the way down to this hex, right? All the middle areas. Yeah. And he he just basically draws a line with his finger, and then he says, um, generally, all of us tend to stay closer to the edge of the, of the island because um, the savannas have a lot of wild animals. There are several oases inside where I believe that that's where all the wild animals, lions, antelopes, sometimes elephants, and um, sometimes the displacers. There's most probably water over there, but we generally speaking keep closer to the water where we can convert the seawater into drinkable water and fish much safer to hunt than going out there to fight displacers for antelopes or mm. okay oh yeah we, we did hear about the oasis oasis I don't know what's the plural. Yeah, I think there are a few <clears throat> okay do you think it has anything to do with the caves of Patangin uh, I have no idea to be honest it's a mere fable. They say that when you enter the caves, your you will see how your life will end. Hmm. Interesting. That's all you know, huh? Well, well, I appreciate someone of your stature to <laughs> come. I mean, I know it's a small village, but it's still you might have been in the middle of something. So, thank you very much. I offer him some of my my IPA. Oh, thank you. And then he sips it. He nods. Wow, where where is this IPA from? Not bad, huh? It's coconut. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a flavor uh, famous from the Violeta region. Oh. Yeah. But you know what's better? The liquid emerald, fun. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. Um, any friend of Magno no was a friend that. of mine. Hey, so we're friends. Hey, we made a friend, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, just out of curiosity, uh, you know when we first came here, right? Um, we we arrived at uh, f- 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 the city of Amber, em- um, and then the religion that they they followed there. You know, twins. about the twins. Is mm-hmm. that the same faith that everyone follows here in this island? I mean, it's the native regional faith. Uh, most of us here um, do worship the twins as well. Uh, we do have travelers spanning the continent who pass by and they worship many others like the scorpion or, or the archer and so on and so forth. Mm. Uh, we do not. That is standard practice. By any chance, have you heard of the void? What? The the void. <laughs> what is the void? <laughs> I've I've only heard of the virgin, but mm. I don't know. I just you know, there's something something we we heard about along the way. 
it's okay. Um, if that's all you know, then. I, I I apologize for not being able to help more. Wait, okay, just just for the hell of it, can I just see if he's telling the truth? <laughs> just, yeah, just why yeah, not? Make an insight check. Insight. Nine. From his body language, he seems very sincere. And what what makes you b- really believe him is when he says, um, "Magno was a blessing to our village, and I I hope that you do find these caves." I hope so too. Oh, where did Magno come from? Uh? Um, halflings are a bit weird. Um, <laughs> they don't. You never find any of their villages. Magno mm-hmm. once told me that he had never seen anyone who wasn't a halfling until he left his village. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know anyone personally who has found um, a halfling village. They call them shires, apparently. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. cool. Um, he said something about just being very lucky. Hmm. Uh, all right. I think. Uh, yeah, you guys have anything to ask? I mean, we're in the presence of the chief. What's rough? Yeah, where's rough? <laughs> oh yeah, roll one two. two to do it. Yeah. So two. one. Just I'm to one. clarify, one is. One is me. Bovar. One Bovar. Two is Freneta. Okay, cool. <laughs> Go for it. Hey, Frost is me. Ah, shit. Yeah. Not Frost again. has been on Bova's <laughs> shoulder for a while now. Yeah. You okay. want me to... Uh, yeah, I can unlock you also. Hey, you also want to about? Die. How about I I change the procedure of every how every session starts? So we do goals. Hey, who's and then who, who has a cat. <laughs> and okay. then continue. Alright. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay, so okay. the cat is with Bova today. Yeah, wow. and then... And then the chief for now. He he looks and he's like Um yeah. You were saying something about the uh, better than this coconut? Oh yes. Um I was just talking to a bartender about um liquid emerald. You let him try some just now. Because um it's 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 from a friend of mine, you know? We go way back and <clears throat> so I was just yeah, thinking whether friend. you guys want to bring it in. Hey. Hey. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just wondering whether you guys want to bring it in, you know? Um, do, you, do you have any samples for me to try? Um, Come over here. Bring him over to the bartender. I was like, hey, so um, your chief is right here. You want to you wanna let him know how it tastes and when, you know, when and how and stuff. Come on, man. And then uh, he looks... Um, and he's like, Chief Saldan, it was so delicious. I I already told him to send down one box. I mean, if if you if you have resources from the village, we could buy maybe another box or two. It was in, in, so incredible. I had never tasted anything like this. <laughs> and then the chief looked at you, and he's like, Can we make a persuasion check? Alcoholism, baby. No, it's not alcohol. It's business. It's business. It's business. <laughs> yeah, it's business. Uh, okay, let's see. Persuasion. Uh, he, he looks at you. No. And then he he looks at the bartender, and then he says, "Well, I will wait for this first box, and I will taste it first my, for myself." And then uh, I will sign a larger contract um, with the delivery person if it's, I indeed find it to be this it's delicious. Better, it's better if you like bring in less, you know, you can savor the taste and stuff because I know it's expensive and there's, FYI, there's not much left, by the way. You know, just, uh, just saying it's limited. Oh. Well, I believe one crate should be enough for my village then. At least you did not have a scheme, lah. That's. I mean, you don't have to drink a lot of this, lah. This okay. this thing is potent. Since says the alcohol leaks yeah, in the group. So, um, you don't see him drinking a lot, ah. Right? Is, oh, well, is there anything else you guys want to do? <laughs> you drink. 
Uh, um, nah. I think, yeah. Wait. Okay. No, wait, no. I actually want to ask, uh, like, the innkeeper or like, anyone, like, a weird question. I want to ask them about the previous town where, like, when we slept, right, like, we woke up and shit went missing. I want to ask why and does he know about anything about this, oh. the chief? Oh, you are talking about Silent Canary? Oh, yes. Um, they are a quiet fishing village, prefer to keep to themselves. Yeah, but, like, things have been going missing around the area. Is is that a reason why? <laughs> oh, I am unfamiliar with that knowledge. Um, that <sighs> is new info to me. Just, Maybe just we can send you. down people to help them uh, no, if but, they are willing I mean, to accept it. In any case, if you got things coming down, please, like, don't try and stay there too long because we actually ended up losing stuff as well. Just telling you, man. Favor for a favor, uh, man. Uh, okay, then Amari is like, yeah, everything keeps going missing from shoes to f- grains of rice or something. I don't know. You can go back and raid the village later on. <laughs> shatter, bro. Shatter. Shatter all the way. And then, um, yeah. Um, if that is all, I will make my leave. Oh. Aturan. 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 Looky, looky. Okay. And then, yeah, they. Uh, he leaves. And you guys have the evening. That's call. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bond the. Tremor bond spike. with the spike. Oh, so everyone yeah. uh, what are you unbonding with? I'm by unbonding the, way? the 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 bow, the long bow. Okay. Yes. The I sound it makes interview. will still be a fall. Okay. It, it's a swing. It, it's a swing. Oh, Wait, yes. I've got, I've got it in my notes. Okay, it's a fong now. Um, so yeah. if that is all for the evening, I think you all have your spell still and your HP, right? Yeah, we didn't do anything much. As in, we were resting on the way. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So you guys want to make your way down? So isn't this the following day already? Yeah, there's nothing else. We'll oh. we'll move on to the next day. Oh, hey, hey, hey. can we test out? Do you do you are you able to do your 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 start your your tremor thingy as many times as you want, or you can only do this a few times? I think as many, right? Try. Like he said, the battery life hundred years. Uh. Uh, but just, you want to try, try? You want to try now? I want to see if you can see me. But I can already see you because there's one tremor spike in town. Oh yeah, that's true. But that's within 300 feet. Is that? Really... There's a few tremor spikes in town. Oh, there's okay, a few. Okay. Uh... Wow, so you can see. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I slapped yeah. your head. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a first. <laughs> As you slap my head. <laughs> Accurately, you need to roll, don't it? <laughs> but when you slap my hand, that felt a lot more painful than usual. Because I know where your hand was. It's a lot more accurate, right? Yes, thank you. But also, so, yeah, yeah. If, I, if I, it looked a bit more deadly. Uh. <laughs> so, do yeah. you guys want to continue and head out? Sure. Yeah, or is sure. there anything else you guys want to purchase in the village? Oh, uh, food. Yeah. this is a fishing village, right? I need to buy okay. fish for fraff. Oh, <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, new day. You can. Wait, Ooh, so are no, we doing no, 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 per day no, no. or per session? Entire session. Entire session is okay. yours. <laughs> Alright, sure. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, no, okay. I'm not gonna do that. You're just gonna be ro- rolling for fraff the entire session. <laughs> uh, uh, oh <laughs> man, priorities. Before, okay. we pros- before we proceed, in case we come across one of those things, do we, I don't know, uh, how to fight it? Uh, we need to, uh, Bova, you got a, the net, right? You still have your net from yeah. the crab. I still do. You think we should get one more just in case? We don't know how big this thing is. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, okay, I have a net. I don't know how. Okay, so how big? Are... Tie the nets together. <laughs> <laughs> we tie four nets together. We have a huge net. Okay, I have a net. I I don't know. Net five. Let me Google that. I got net. Large. I mean, I'm I'm thinking of net as a weapon, but yeah. you know. Shh. Ah, never mind. you. Okay, I'll follow Bova to buy the fish. If there's any nets, I'll just buy one anyway, lah. Okay. Uh, okay. So nets can bag a large or smaller creature. So yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll buy one anyway, just just okay. in case. Okay, sure. Um, nets are 
if there's any for sale. <laughs> a gold piece was it? Uh, doesn't say here. Yeah, one gold piece for a net. Piece, okay. But net but is the other thing throw. that you. I already have a net. I bought previous well, these. But what I throw is a net. Um, right. as in, as in what stat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you use strength. Yeah. Yeah. Strength. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Strength. I'm very strong. Uh, no, Which reminds me, speaking of strength. Yes. Right. This is the evening where um, Angkor and Freneda, when you guys wake up, right, your muscles feel tighter, mm. weaker. I cannot do as much push-ups as I usually can. Wait, wait, what's going on? Why, why? I look at, I look at Rio, I'm like, you supposed ah, to keep us alive. My push-ups, I'm doing less. Wait, wait, so wait, wait, wait okay, I guess the next morning Bova would Wait, so how the scars on your face like the the, the, the same cracks, the same, same cracks, right? It's just that our strength went down. But I'm doing long. less push-ups, <laughs> but it's okay. I can do whatever I can do remaining. I can do it very fast. <laughs> I, I look at him doing push-ups. I'm like, I'm not even gonna try today. <laughs> that means I need to do more push-ups to gain it back. Okay, so yeah, it's okay. all the alcohol, man. Um, Fish, so you guys up. wanted to buy a net. What else do you guys want to buy? Fish, wasn't it? Yeah, fish. Um, yeah, fish will just be like a silver. Okay. Yeah. For a yeah. good good tilapia, because that's apparently the fish of the region. Oh, I love tilapia. Holy crap. It's a oh, type of about... fish. Oh, wait. Yeah, wait. Do, during break, uh, 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 I'll ask y'all something later. <laughs> tilapia related. No man, like, but I think supper related. <laughs> okay, I wanna, I wanna do the, what do you call that, um, Car traveling stuff. Okay. okay. So who's who's doing what? Uh, I can forage, I guess. I can forage too. I am doing the. <laughs> Mine oh. is. No wait 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 wait. Uh, Rio, your your thing can make you see far far, is it? But he has to sink yeah. into the ground. Oh, you want to try something? Uh, oh yeah, but yeah. No, but no, but like, <laughs> Barry is like still right now on the video, right? Uh, oh no, yeah, no. Ah, okay. uh, damn it! But that was a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, um, what what position are you guys taking? Ah, uh, wait. Forage. Forage. Scout. Look out. Look out. Look out, look out. Um, navigator. Navigator, yeah. No, I'm I'm doing navigation because I need to draw the map as well. I'm still drawing the map, by the way. Yep. For <laughs> for me. Hey, one of my my goals is yeah, finding the cartograph, cartograph on the way to the cave, and then cartograph the cave. Yeah. I don't know what goals you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so okay, Rio sorry. is foraging. Freneta is navigating. Um, Angkor? Ah, uh, scouting, I guess. Unless Bova wants to scout. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, nah, it's okay. Uh, okay. I'll just forage, yeah. Um, then who's. No one's doing lookout. Um, Amari, what does she want to do? Um, she'll take whatever is left. Oh, no, I told her that she could scout the next time. Can she scout with me? And then I'll do the. Oh, can she scout and I do the lookout? Yeah. 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 Okay, I hope my stats are okay for that. But we'll and... see. And. Anchor. Cool. You say oh, okay. Okay, so uh, Rio and Bolvar. Um. Yes. Are you are you using the spike? Yes. <laughs> you don't need to roll for perception. Okay. <gasps> you see it all. Oh, that's such a cool oh. spike. Better eyesight than anyone now. <laughs> Within a 300 feet. Really. 300 feet, yeah. <laughs> Your elf eyes can indeed. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No. Half um, elf eyes, I guess. So both of you can uh, do dexterity checks. Right. See Wait. how well you can compare them. <laughs> He's a high elf. Half elf. Why am I always confusing what? Wait, you're high elf or He's half a high elf? elf. Oh, high I thought keep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. I keep. I keep mixing up which one he is. <laughs> I keep thinking you're a half elf. 
I'm a high elf. Okay. He's a blind elf. This is ironic. Your elf eyes don't see anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make your oh sorry dexterity that's check. Thing throw. Is it the same? No, it's not. No, the same. straight dexterity. Sorry, I pressed the wrong. Oh man, button. I got a seven. Oh, but it's, oh, it's still wow. a plus four. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, we are uh, actually, Rio, you can take the first one because it's the same. It's the same roll. Yeah. Is, is it? Yeah. Because mm, you yeah, still have plus four. Is. Um. So, oh, yeah. Rio, you, your time with Cook <laughs> has provided you with the skills to prepare food insanely well, impressing even you, Bovar. However, let's make a performance check. Ooh, nice. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, for Bovar as well. As well. Performance. Yeah. Performance. Okay. Berries, soup, soup. berries, 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 mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Robert. Well, Bovar does not have the technical skill to prepare the food as well as you, Mary, <laughs> uh, as well as you, Rio. Bovar does make it look. Extremely beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Uh, let's do navigation because I, I want time to think about whether you guys are lost or not. Oh, come on. Oh, we're not lost. No, it depends on how you roll. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Guide, uh, make a perception slash survival. There is no road, so um, higher DC. Perception. Ooh. Oh, let's go! Oh, yeah. Let's go! I know okay. I'm going, boy. Okay, you you were following the map, like. Where is my? Can I make it? it? <laughs> uh, yeah. So you know exactly where you're going. Uh, you're following the map accurate to whatever is drawn on the map hmm. okay after that you have to make a nature check mm, nature 10 okay uh with a 10 you only see the usual displacer tracks um and dried out bodies assumedly from the uh, Mosquitoes as well. And can you make an intelligence check? Wait. Oh. Well, that's a good net 20. That's a good place to have a net 20. Ooh. Got an 8. Yep. Yeah. Um, you, you don't find any special routes. So it takes the full 19 days. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. As long as we didn't get lost. Uh, lookout, which is Angkor, is just three perception checks. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One. Oh, very One nice. Two. Nice. Good stuff. Two. Not Ten. so nice. Okay. Good. Come on, break it. Pretty that's good. A... Nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, you can choose. To either engage with any of the displacers you see, or avoid them completely. Oh, avoid. Avoid that. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You, you sure, bro? I, I think we can take it on, bro. <laughs> it's okay, la. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, last is the scout, which is Amari. Um, oh yeah, she. This is good for her because she's she's a stealthy lady. <laughs> Let me look. She's part of the gang permanently. She's a void boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that easy to become a void yeah, boy. Yeah, man. I will... Any chance to let sure. her like die and fall behind? Okay, lah. Let's do it. Yeah. Right, Fernanda, Fernanda, jealous because she's like you know Fernanda's supposed to be the only lady of the team. <laughs> half, half of the void boys have had to die to become <laughs> void boys, yeah. <laughs> Bro, bro, you don't even travel on ships and like fight krakens and like all you do is like take a knife and... 
Four, Wait, seven. And like with a seven? <laughs> Come on. You see her, you don't know that she's rolling a seven. Okay? <laughs> what you know is she, as she tries to like uh, stealth, there's just no trees, you know? Hmm. It's too flat to hide and it's extremely hard. Okay, um, she's gonna do a survival next. She dies. She needs oh us, bro. God, she really needs us. Okay. Oh wow. And uh, yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't find any tracks, so she doesn't know. Um, she comes back and she's like, "Hey guys, uh, didn't find any other like monsters or whatever." Hmm. You sure about that? Yeah. You saw me, I went pretty far ahead. I don't know if I scared them on accident or whatever, but... Um, well... And then, you guys want to travel through the 18, 19 days? You're lucky Encore rolled, like, 22 twice. Yes, yeah. I, I just spent all my lucky luckness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. uh, let's, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we'll, we'll just travel. Onward. Uh, yeah, so... Two weeks pass, uh, you guys more or less are able to avoid all of the beasts that you see. Um, uh, uh, Rio's newfound spike was a great thing to have. You guys can find basically every like berry, every fruit, yes. every edible piece of wheat that grows uh, wildly in the in these savannas. Okay, eventually in the distance. Um, on the 19th day, you guys do see what appears to be some kind of obelisk. Huh. Huh. It's next to some massive rock. There's some trees. Just one? Just it's one, just one obelisk? Yeah. Huh. Next to a rock. Yeah, and there's some trees there. How, how like big is palm it? Trees. Yeah, how big is the obelisk? Uh, I would say um, about 15 feet at its peak. Huh. And how big is the rock? <laughs> oh, the rock is uh, its about 10 feet high. Um, you don't know how wide it is. Is that a cave entrance? Hmm. Uh, uh, this is where the map supposedly says it is. Um, yeah, I guess approaching the general location. Um, while most of the land around you looks flat, there's some trees. And that's what you see. Huh. Hey, friend. You yes. sure you read the map correctly or not? That doesn't like cave eh? <laughs> But it's the only thing we've seen so far. I mean, okay, so I mean, I guess this is the only like peculiar thing we've seen so far. Everything has just been empty mm -hmm. savannah, right? Huh. Well, okay, so I guess Bova hops off the carriage and then like walks towards the obelisk. Yeah, so in front of the obelisk, there's this small pool of water that's very clear. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and there's eh, five, six trees maybe. Is, is, is there like a clearing around it? Um, I mean, savannas, as, as I mentioned before, are like... So they're surprisingly dense tree-wise. Mm -hmm. um, there's no explicit clearing. Okay, so it doesn't look like this. Oh, so it's just like right in the thick of whatever vegetation. Yeah. Thing. Okay. It's like as tall as one of the trees. Okay. It's very obvious. It's not a tree. Anything, any inscription on the obelisk? So, um, you guys are walking towards the obelisk? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Um, yes. Are you sure you don't want to stay at the cart, guys? No, 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 okay, I say the okay. cart probably goes like, I guess, 120 feet away. Okay. What I mean. Okay, and then so get it off. And Bovar walking ahead. Yeah. Is that it? I, okay, I, I, I follow Bovar. Okay. He stays at the cart. Are, are you going to set up the thing at least? Yeah. Ah. Okay, fine. Please, please, yeah. Please, please. Travel oh, wait, spike. No. Actually, actually, when you travel spike, what do you see? Do you see like 
is the landmass like straight or do yeah. you see any yeah, entrances? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. yeah, maybe I can feel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna plant my set it up now. Okay, right so in front of me. you you spike it. You're roughly 120 feet away. Correct. Yeah, I'm right. at the cart about 120 feet away. Yep. Okay, it it pulses, and then you can see, um, like, the runes on the obelisk. It's in a language you don't understand. Oh. You don't see any cave entrance. Um, let's say when you the sand underneath you. Yep. You see every grain of sand up to about five feet. Right, but there's no like signs of anything going underground or. Yeah, like beyond five feet, you can't see anything anymore. It's too thick. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any uh, thick palangs? It's like you know when objects, um, you know like uh, Superman's X-ray vision. Yeah. You know you yeah. can't see through one foot of lead. Right. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, that's what's what's happening. Right, right. Uh, any creatures around us within the radius? Um, there's most probably a displacer or two, like three hundred feet away, and it oh. seems to be just. Cruising through and then it exits. I doesn't know that we're there, lah. Yeah. I mean, right. no, no, the moment it enters the the range of the thermosense, right? It turns around and. Oh off. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so nothing around us. I let I let the guys know. Hmm. You can continue checking out the uh, obelisk. Yeah, let's Perhaps you take Pala mostly. Perhaps I take Pala mostly. You know, really a myth. Could be. <sighs> Perhaps. Uh, uh, hey, y'all want to go back to Verde? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't mind. Uh. <laughs> As you be all like, what? <laughs> just, it, let's go, that's all, that's all. So many episodes just to get to this cave. Yeah. And let's go back to Verde. Yeah, all right? Cool. I, I think I forgot, like, my, my, my you know, like, Something my shoes left my my underwear at home. Uh, I gotta go back and grab it. Forgot to turn off the stove. <laughs> yeah, I the stove man. Uh, um, okay, so uh, obelisk. I know Bovar wants to go to the obelisk. Yeah, yeah let's go to the obelisk. No, wait, no, actually, Bovar, go. I will stay with. Yeah, I'm still by the car. Uh, I'm okay. I'm always with Bovar. Right. So I go near to the obelisk. Okay. Um, to so go nearer, do I see? So the, the pool of water is right next to the obelisk, right? Yeah. Yeah, I look into the pool of water first, I guess. Anything? It's clear. I poke my stuff, I just jut into the, the, the pool of water. You see it ripple, hmm. and nothing happens. Hmm. Push on, Koi. <laughs> <laughs> and Amari is like, um, I don't have a good feeling about this. Last time this happened, we were attacked by, like, um, scarecrows. Sorry. What? What do you mean? Last time this happened? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I just look at obelisk, I guess. Then, any, any runes or do I see the runes? Can I make an investigation check? Okay. Can I see as well? Can I can I do the same? Or, nah, but you do it lah. Twenty-two. Yeah, you can make an investigation check as well, Encore. Because I wanna, what I wanna do is I wanna eventually ask Agnes and Roderick if yeah. it means anything. Frenetta's with Rio, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're pulling the cart slightly closer, actually. 12. Uh, how close? Uh, oh, yeah. Like, maybe a quarter of the speed. Most of the so, I think that we are uh, maybe at, like, 6. Uh, I would say around 100 feet or maybe uh, 90 feet. 90. Eight, eight, <laughs> 90. so much of a difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we like, bring it forward and back. <laughs> and again, with conviction, 90 feet. Okay, cool. Uh, Bovar, uh, the moment you start reading, right? Uh, you feel... Oh, no. Your book. Oh. Okay, I whip it out. Yeah. Okay? As soon as you take it out, it starts flipping on its own. Oh. And then you see words begin to uh, appear on your in your script, and then you see the obelisk begin to light up. Okay. Whoa. You can. You wanna read it or? Yeah, yeah. I'll read the ones in my. 
Oh, 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 is oh, anything happening cool. to the blade? <laughs> no. Oh, <dear. laughs> yeah, <I'm> a... <laughs> Sorry, to disappoint. It's okay. But, uh, as you try to listen in to Agnes and Roderick, they seem to be having a discussion on what their favorite butter chicken <laughs> combination is. Okay. Yeah. So, so what do I see in my book? Um, yeah, so you begin reading, and can you can you all roll for initiative? Ah! Whoa! Okay. What? Don't touch anything anymore. I didn't. Okay. We didn't touch anything. Oh, yeah. I oh God, they opened up my boot. No, 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 oh. we're, fight, we're fighting an obelisk. <laughs> we're fighting a pool of water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, hold on, I'm waiting for my token to come out. <laughs> I <laughs> am yeah. gonna move you guys over to the... Yeah. I rolled already, but my token's not out. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, so, um, you guys are coming from this, re this side. Like, here. I rolled... And 23. Yeah. Man, I thought I rolled a 20 quite bad, really, quite good already, uh, but no. Ah, First you... person beats me. I'm fast. I rolled a 14. That's fine. Okay, also, Fruff is safely out of harm's way, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> always yeah, in the yeah. cut, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Amari is on that side. Oh, she's far. Uh, uh, how far are you guys? Like, yeah, it's about there. Okay. Right, so Cornetta and Rio are we there like, as well. Are we like 90 feet away from them? Or like yeah, the yeah. entrance of... I yeah, should... you guys are like here. I, I would be next to Bova, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just position yourselves yeah. uh, where you guys should be. Yeah. I guess I, I'm not that near, I guess. Like, yeah, somewhere there. It's okay, I got you. 28 HP. I got you. <laughs> DM, sir, I'm num I, I rolled a 20. I'm not appearing in the turn order. Okay. Uh, I don't have DM, to. sir. Uh, yeah, I head. rolled too quickly. Yeah, you you know you rolled as I was deleting someone else's. Ah. Uh, yeah. So you're twenty. Yeah. Encore, what did you get? Uh twenty three. Twenty three. All right. Frenetta got fourteen. <laughs> Can y'all see? Can you all see yourself? So Bovar rolled a 17. Yeah, just let it be something easy. Like... Easy? A, a dog! <laughs> no, not a dog! Not a dog! Not a dog! Not a dog! Why did that come uh, out? All the things that came out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... As you guys roll for initiative, you see these... The obelisks begin to shine through all the words. And you see these two long white claws oh, no. slam out of the obelisk. Oh, and no. it this horse like head oh, my comes God. out. Oh, oh. oh. That's actually quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then immediately you guys hear <laughs> Oh nice. Oh, wow. and wait, no volume walling. <laughs> You guys watch Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, let's go on a break. Alright, right. Okay, okay. it's going to break. See you guys in about five minutes. Oh man, this boy is huge. <laughs>